I think one of my biggest fears in life is being content and settling. I only have, it sounds so like cliche, but you have one life to live. And I really want to make my time here impactful. So I think that's why I really throw myself in the things I am so passionate about. It's hard to summarize it because it it's such a big part of my life. I would say the best way to explain it for someone to understand it is it's my outlet. It's therapy for me. It's a way for me to express like my sexuality in a safe way. So yeah, I feel like dance is pretty much, it means everything to me. Hi, I'm Jenny Chu. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner by day and a professional dancer by night. Obviously, this is not a usual, it's not a daytime look, clearly. <laughs> Crazy lashes, the freaking hot pink like shadow. Usually we coordinate our looks, our makeup looks with like our costumes and stuff. So like, you'll see, you guys will see the fit later. <laughs> like, I'll sit on the stool and face the mirror yes. so I can kind of like watch you do it to me. And exactly. Over the years, my, my dance path has led me to go-go dance, and there's still a lot of misunderstanding what go-go dancers are. When I first started doing go-go dance, even some of my friends are like, like, oh my god, like, are you stripping? You know, and not throwing any shade to people who are in that industry, which is we're just very different. I would say that for me, when I'm go-go dancing, I'm not doing it for validation. I'm not doing it to steal anyone's man's or women's or whoever. I'm not there to um, get any attention like that. It's purely for me to express myself through my movement. And it's my own way of also challenging myself as a dancer. And it's, it's hard work. And I don't think people realize that because we make it look easy. And it's not, you know, like, I challenge y'all, dance for 20 minutes straight to a random playlist you don't know what's gonna be on next, you know, and try it out and see how it is, you know? And we're up there without any, we don't have choreography planned. It's literally like you're thinking on your feet, and I, I love that, and I love that challenge, that she mental said, challenge. She was like, please take the Uber at Scorpion, and I was like, girl, I need you to slow down. Like, what I'm are you so, I literally, in my head, I was slow. Mm. Like, in my head. I believe that you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, you're crazy. You're actually crazy. I started dancing when I was eight. How do you put this on? Fun fact, and I feel like a lot of people wouldn't Stop. believe this, but I was really overweight as a child, and I was really, really shy. I was really just, I kept to myself a lot. So a big part of why I started dancing was my mom. Ironically, she actually like signed me up uh, at like a local dance studio. I'm from Random, Massachusetts, so we dance at, I believe the name was Judy's Dance of School. I don't think it exists anymore, so RIP. <laughs> My mom signed me up uh, for dance classes when I was eight to kind of help me manage my weight and I guess make friends <laughs> and socialize a little bit. At first, I really hated it because I was so out of my element. I wasn't confident. I was really self-conscious and I didn't have any friends. The typical setup was we'll take classes throughout the year. And at the end of the year, we'll have an annual dance recital. 
So we get to put on makeup, do our hair, and put on these like crazy costumes. And I think that was like my first exposure to this kind of performance life. And I still remember to this day that the first time I stepped on stage, I, I loved it. I loved the feeling of performing in front of people. I loved the costumes and I really loved putting on makeup as well. And I didn't realize how I was into that, but I was. And I think that was, that's the feeling I, I feel like I keep chasing. It's that high I get when I'm performing. So I think that's a big motivating factor for me to keep doing this. So we're going to start on our right bubble. Um, we're going to go and count five. One, two. So not only do I work full time as a pediatric nurse practitioner, I co-own and co-direct a performance company that a good friend of mine established about two years ago now. And I feel like as most business owners know, it's really hard to really define what our work hours are because it's pretty much a 24 seven kind of job as well. So sometimes there will be some things that come up even during like my day job that I'll try to have to manage at some point. So it, it's, it's tough juggling so many responsibilities like simultaneously. No stress. <laughs> I don't want to hear that word. No stress. <laughs> Onyx is a performance company that contracts dancers for nightclubs, festivals, and other corporate events. Another big reason why we decided to start our own performance company was not just to like help elevate the nightlife scene in Boston because it's really lacking if you compare it to like New York or Miami, even, you know, Austin. <laughs> Boston's really lacking. So a big push was we, we can provide these amazing services to help the nightclubs be more lively and bring more culture. As time has passed, well, after we established, a lot of obstacles we faced was just like even convincing nightclubs or other promoters to hire dancers. Because in my mind, in our minds, having dancers brings so much value to your parties. You know, we're social media friendly, so it's really good for advertisement, but also we bring the hype to your clients. We built, we create and curate the vibe. And that's what people, I feel like when they go out, that's what they will remember. So I feel like we really bring great value um, to the events that we are involved in, but it's just so challenging to convince people to hire us and even give us the opportunity to do so. And it's hard to like change that culture here because if you look at other cities like New York, Miami, Vegas, there's so, there's so many opportunities there. I can just walk in and they'll like, you know, be dancing that night. <laughs> and and it's it's tough. It's tough to like change the culture because those things don't happen overnight. So we just gotta keep at it and keep at it and hope for the best, you know? My advice to anyone starting to dance or getting into dance in general, just have fun with it. Be forgiving. Don't be so harsh on yourself if you don't get the steps right away or if you feel like awkward or whatnot. There was like a lot of self-doubt too. Like, oh gosh, like what am I doing? Am I good enough? Like, what are people gonna think of me? But you really have to like get that self-doubt out and not have it hold you back um, and just kind of go go for your goals. So you just gotta keep going to classes and keep showing up. And when you do show up to classes, try not to compare yourself to others because I guarantee you the other students in class aren't really judging you. They're so focused on their own selves. So don't think that like, oh my God, I'm the worst dancer. Everyone's staring at me. I, I don't wanna do this again, you know? Just keep at it. It's not, obviously it's not something you can just pick up overnight. So you're just gonna keep showing up and keep coming to class. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you would like to see more of Jenny Chu and the Onyx Performance Group, be sure to see the links in the description below. Until then, see you in the next video.